up in the ghetto, you get at the edge of your life at any moment you will die. So you become intense. But the ghetto in Vallejo isn't like in Oakland. There is an escape hatch in Vallejo. Vallejo is a strange place to grow up in. You can kind of still be yourself if you don't fall into the old trap of what organization or being told. You be from that street, you belong in that street, you can't escape me. Some people just... God, I wish we could talk about that. That's one of the reasons. I mean, you know, that's, how, how, long, how, long, how long do we have? We how can't long, talk about street organizations. Have, how, how, long do, how long do I have with you? We can't talk about it, though. That's the problem. But I just want to know how long do I have with you in general. Yeah, we have Two all hours. hours. Just one hour. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but with street organization, politicking is one of the few things I feel dreadfully nervous about. Cop watching? Fuck cops. But yeah, we can do that all day. Street organizations? Holy shit, man. You know what I'm calling it? Are you part of the percenters? You know, like that, like... You don't want to say shit. <laughs> I have my stories, but I don't have any bad stories, thankfully. And we got stories. We know where we're at. We're in the land of Oz. And right here, you can tune in to some of the very best in Bay Area artists that you can't find anywhere else. But right here, there's no place like home. Age got you're here. What's up, y'all? Let's hey, get you Scott up. in the building. How you guys doing? What's up, guys? How you doing? Is this me right here? Let's see if we can get your mic all the way up. There this, it is. There it is. Really there it is. There. One, two, one, two. There yeah. it is. What's up, everyone? Hey, Scott in the building. How you guys doing? Bay Area, what's up? 707, what's up? How you guys doing? Yo, uh, we we just heard Ariel Marin. And yes. What do you think about this fine artist? Um, well, Ariel Marin, um... Of course, she's amazingly a um, dope singer, and um, she's, I mean, she came through the podcast, the Duck Soup, so I'm part of a podcast, the Duck Soup on YouTube, D-U-K-K-S-O-P, um, YouTube, I'm part of a crew, um, Hip Hoppers, um, shout out to DJ Rowe, Thug Nasty, Spy, um, Jay Fetty. Um, Shantae, Anna, and um, from us doing our podcast, we ran across a lot of cool artists who would come through and play their music. So Oya came through. Um, Oya, I'm saying, I'm saying her name incorrectly, but Miss Marin is she's dope. She's dope. She's dope. Uh, what we know is that she goes with the Sassoon uh, collective out there. Yeah. They have a club. Yes. And she's she's good went around and she goes around and does her circuit mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, she, like I said, like, you know, honestly, from being, I, I say from being an artist in the Bay Area, the dopest thing about being an artist in the Bay is know, knowing all the dope artists in the Bay. Yeah. It's not even about the money and all, mm. like, but, like, I I know a good handful of these great artists out here, and, um, mm -hmm. all you know is Miss Marin is one. She's dope. Actually, I would, like, I pitched her, um, some beats. I was just like, yo, can I toss you some beats? So, but on the same, on that same concept, um, even though I'm here for my comic books today, yeah, um, I have made beats for other people. Um, there's an album on YouTube called Fly Legacy, Fly Legacy, MC Wicks, and um, I made all the beats for my guy, and um, it's incredible. It's really dope. He's an MC for um, I'm Stockton, so it's really dope. We got. All hour to mention. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm no, sorry. I don't man, mean no, to, what are you yeah. talking about? I'm gonna show you just be yourself because it's intergalactic, yeah. and we gonna uh, we're gonna offer you a platform like last uh, week we had yeah. uh, a mention, just a brief mention of this uh, magazine called Freaky Comics, yeah. and uh, it's some um, it's some real free, it's a real freaky rag. It's like it's done up in the old style of 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 of, of what do you call them again? These freaky comic books, comics with the X at the end. Yeah, the old um, 70s San Francisco yeah. book. San Francisco Instead of triple X, yes. they were one X. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're really racy, and they were sold in the head shops. They were sold in the adult stores. Shout out to Robert Crumb. Yes, exactly. Ah, the progenitor yes. of, of underground comics, from which the current day yeah. freaky is available at the comic book shop uh, over in. Uh, Oh, what's that place over by the BART station? Uh, it's online at mothershipradio.blogspot.com, okay? <laughs> we don't have much time to mention what we mentioned last week, except we love our comic books, and yes. we love the artists who love them. 
uh, and the this, artist who produced them. I guess this is the oh, we'll just Da Vinci. This man out. brought out the Da Vinci Code, and out of the Da Vinci Code of his own, he came up with his own comments. Tell us more. I'm so impressed. So I just handed um, a copy of two copies of the book Superhood to Dr. G. One is for him. And one is for what, however he wants to give it away to a listener. If yeah, if the if a listener wants to call in or make a contact, however Dr. G wants to give it away. But we'll one, do it. Or, we'll do or it. give one to you know whatever. You're, gonna, you you're want. gonna autograph one. And uh and uh you really did pull out the Da Vinci Code book yeah. of yours. This is amazing that you are a Renaissance man and out of your satchel you you got your own creative balance, your own force for good, superhood. Yes. Yeah, so. My comic book Superhood um, is a 32-page book where I wrote it and I have my friends help me illustrate it. And we worked together and got the book completed. And it's, um, the whole concept is if X-Men's about kids that have superpowers and go to school for their powers, what about the kids who have powers and didn't get a chance to go to school for them? So they have to learn how to use their powers in the streets. Absolutely. And in real life, the State Department has those super schools for mutants that they'll recruit straight out of high school. Yeah. But in real life, in the 60s, uh, the street mutants were the ones that rose up using their superpowers of intelligence, integrity, and discipline. And these superheroes out in the community were wiped out in what was called the, the crack uh, cocaine contra thing. And that's like uh, old school, like super villains, uh, yeah. 1980s yeah. thing. But uh, we got time to talk about yes, the cultural do. reflections in your book. Because looking through it, this is Oakland. You explicitly state that in the dialogue here. This is Oakland. Well, you know, it's definitely Bay Area, and it's definitely Bay Area, but it's like what part of the Bay? It's like a fictional, a fictional part of East Oakland. Like deep East Oakland, but it's like fictional, kind of like, but... It's, it's it's Oakland, definitely it's Oakland, and I'm glad you noticed that, Dr. G. And, you know, I want to say this to OzCat and OzCat listeners. Um, OzCat has always been a home to me, man. Like, big shout-out to Kate. She's always um, been good to me, man. So, coming here to OzCat is like um, coming back home. It's cool. 89.5, what's up? What's up? You're from the land, of, you're in the land of Oz. Uh, hey. huh? mm -hmm. Hey, area stand up. And, yes. uh, you know, we had to, uh, bust in, uh, we had to bust in, uh, though, because, like, sometimes, uh, we gotta, we gotta make our rank where we go. We have to find the back door wherever we go. Some of, uh, some of the artists out there are disregarded because they are stereotypically black by being too brown. Yeah. Tell me, sir, um, do you know what it's like to be a black person? You know what, <laughs> boy, uh, as a black person, but not just a black person, black male, proud to be, but a black male who is very passionate about my art. Like, I want to leave a legacy and say things with my art while I'm here. And if you remember, you know, it's funny because coming here to OzCat Radio again for the umpteenth time, I've been in this room with Dr. G a lot of times. Five times. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> well, okay. With you, Dr. G, but then I have came in here with um, Bobby Boondocks. Yeah. Child, you know, yeah. it's, been, it's been family. So what I'm saying is um, the times I came in previously were for music and videos. And now I'm coming here with my book. You got you got some really effed up imagery in here, knowing that yeah. while well, you're talking to an indigenous of the Bay Area here, yeah. talking about so-called uh, ghetto here in Vallejo, uh, I was about to say earlier in between our uh, during the music, like uh, Oakland's very different. There are a heck of a lot more people there, and you straight up got like casual imagery within the story that would be upsetting, but it's like part of the story. You know what? Um, I so Superhood. It comes off, it's not like your typical villain beats bad guy, I mean good guy. It's like, more. it's more like X-Men meets Boys in the Hood. Like these kids have superpowers, but they have so many other issues to deal with. They don't have time to fight a bad guy yet. Oh wait, an alien show uh, popped up. Reality opens like a door for him. He is Shiva, the three-eyed one. What up, Stuart? You tell me. You're the one who sees everything. What do you want to hear about? Says the alien. This is what he says. I just saw reality. 
that has no war, death, or pain. The residents were intelligent aerosol gases. I saw another reality of a place that looked just like Earth, but everyone was the same race. The color green, so there was no racism. It was heaven. I also saw your moms on 42nd Street moonwalking like Mike Jackson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm guessing Shiva is actually one of the characters we just uh, kind of evolved really quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Shiva, his thing is he's a, um, a teen whose third eye opened up completely 100%. And with his power so great, he spends no time on Earth. He goes someplace else to practice his powers. Absolutely. So he could teleport. He, like, so he could teleport and do, do like lightweight things, but he's scared of his power. So they kind of call him in on occasion to do cleanup. But um, yeah, that's Shiva. And if it, so Shiva is kind of like if Doctor Manhattan, like, okay, so Superhood. People have read it because I put Superhood out 10 years ago as an independent, and I kept knocking on doors, and I'm really thankful that Uncle Dad Comics picked it up, and um, the good brothers at UncleDadComics.com, they picked up my book where you can, they, they reprinted it, put it on a bigger platform, and now it's being distributed and published to Uncle Dad Comics, so... Listeners, um, if you would like a copy of Superhood, please go to www.uncledadcomics.com. Once again, www.uncledadcomics, um, one word, dot com, Superhood. And, um, yeah, man, it's, I mean, you know, okay, so like I said, on an artistic tip, I've came in here playing my music, and I've came in here playing my videos, and now I'm in here showing my book off to the world. Yeah, and matter of fact, I'm going to yeah. go home and post up excerpts and the cover on mothershipradio.blogspot.com alongside... Yo, brother, I want to say you read it Uncle excellently. Dog. I just love how you oh, read it. Yeah, if you want to just read the whole book I and, like, do, right like, like pick right a now. segment. Okay, yeah, pick yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, fuck you. You ain't my boss. No, that's, that's actually very explicit. Never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You had to find it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it was funny. Honestly, with flesh hanging off her bullet-filled skull, zombie slowly heals. You should read the, I read like the page Kanye before. No, read the, read, the, read, the, read the page, the, the page before. No, brother, read, read, read the page yeah. before. All right, now, all right, read all right, the, the on, bottom, on. the bottom. So they, they, they all the got bottom. into a big old street fight. Mm -hmm. uh, they're actually saving the hood. And... Yes. Uh, and here comes uh, uh, the, the interdimensional boy, and uh, he's zooming in. And then here comes Zombie, Zombie Girl. What up, fellas? That's not how she sounds, but we're just going to say it. Yeah, that, that's exactly how she sounds. Bullets flying in all directions. Pew, pew, pew. What I want to know is... Zombie walks into the rain of hot metal. Jay-Z or Nath. And just stands there. I think Jay makes better songs. She's, she's totally got a bullet ripping through her brains, by the way. She shows no emotion since she feels nothing. But rhyme for rhyme, she is shredded by the bullets. Nas will eat HOV, and her face is destroyed, honestly, with flesh hanging off her bullet-filled skull. I see why you want me to read that. Zombie slowly heals. I like Kanye the most. And she is in perfect health. That is dirty. That is dirty flesh stuff. No, oh, my yeah, gee. Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, that was dope. Yeah. That was oh, dope. Did we vote for him? Did we vote for him? Hold a minute. Wait, wait, wait. G, 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 G. Hold a minute. No way. Yo, hold a minute. I want to just say thank you. That was hot. No, no, Mathis. No, no. That lady was... Uh, that lady's flesh-bending skills is gruesome. It was, but, but I love that. I mean, you you read it impeccably, like bro, yeah, yeah. like it's dope. And you make her look all pretty and stuff, but underneath that 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 flesh is. Ugh. Now, when you say the artistic side, so I wrote it and I did the background, the lettering, and like a lot of the small detail. That's it, anything that's not breathing. I did, right? Yeah. I assisted on. So, but my dude Alan Angel did the flesh. Anything breathing, my dude Alan, he drew that and he, he inked that. Then my brother Brandon Bracker Monster did the cover, and which is that's my brother Brandon Bracker Monster. <laughs> then my brother Mike Hampton, he helped me format the book, 
And then also my brother Colin Fix, he gave me an excellent pinup in the very back cover. So, yeah. Oh, oh that's not thank you. Looking yeah, that's my brother. Yeah, that's Doc. That's um Shiva. Shiva, yeah. Yeah. You're right, right? You're uh, whoa. So, so uh, wait, wait. Before I move on, yeah, it's powerful, bro. I want to just say. Can I get a nod for just being the Quincy Jones on some comic book hype? Like, rounding up a collective. And I want people to know this. I've always been about team and effort and, like, always been about team, man. Like, I just recorded a new cooking show. What? I just recorded a new cooking show. No, no, no. I am reading this comic while you're talking. What? Yeah. Uh, okay. Eyes okay. wide open. Yeah. Or, 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 okay, we're a brother. Bro, no, I'm looking at the yeah. comic book, y'all, yeah. okay? Yeah. I'm going, Still, what? Yeah. <laughs> what well, is making Dr. G go what? <laughs> okay, and I'm, I'm like, this not giving away spoilers, but I'll say this. Everything you've seen in Superhood, you've seen, if you're a comic book reader and an avid reader, you've seen it in Watchmen and Dark, and Dark Knight. We love that stuff. Come on. No, this is not and an underground comic in that it don't make sense. This is truly a work of art, a, uh, a masterpiece uh, that can be called, um, uh, what do you call it again, when you're like uh, uh, tongue-in-cheek, like you're using superhero ethos to project um, a, 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 a vision a, a, your, of reality. Uh, your brother, let me tell you this, brother. That's book one. If I, if you, let me tell you this. Book two is going to leave your chest wide open. And I, I, I just when I get it printed up and ready to go, I'll bring it through and have to show it to you. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. There's gang violence in here, too. Yeah. And... It's, it's, like I said, it's X-Men meets boys in the wow. hood. It's not like the... Like, it's real... All right, so look. Um, big shout out to my publisher, Uncle Dad. But even he was just like... He put it in the hands of some readers and... People and, dig it, but... And Zombie really is so much stuck with, like, uh, straight up, like, straight up, like, pushing stuff into okay, her, okay. her arms, man. All like, right. I don't want to talk about this, though. No, no, all right, wait, let, okay, no, 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 I'm reading this while we're talking, and it is so worth your while to check it out. It's not the shock value that is being provided for a purpose of, 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 of downgrading what you do with humor. It's more like, y'all, folks out there, Dr. G is caught up in this, like... Like, you better be reading this, too. This stuff, this is funny, this is real, and it is so grossly violent. But, yeah, th this man's head just popped off like it's, yeah. like, it's like it's a... Yeah. It's, it's, you, know, you know, Uncle Dad, uh, Uncle Dad Comics com because, look, check this out, because, you know, um, we all grew up on comic books. We all love comic books. We love, and, you know, keeping it real, there was a period of comic books when... It was the thing to be was black, black and true, and black like in all these white writers writing the black experience in comic books. I'm like, okay, well, you want to be black in comics? Let me tell you about my black. Let me show you some black shit. Hey, let me tell you, let me let me read two more pages out of this, okay? This is Shiva talking. I am around everything. Shiva, the three-eyed one. Nothing is unseen by him. He sheds his flesh and bends reality, then becomes one with the universe. He sees everything, past and present, and future, all at the same time. Okay. I see these men flooding 42nd Street. Must be their birthplace. He says while tracing the origin of this supervillain crew that they're all fighting right now. So he's using his superpowers uh, to work with the team. He says, I see them being born. They're not human. That's why Zombie's power had the result that it did when she exploded that guy's head. And the, his teammates are asking, are they from the 42nd? The 42nd? She, are they? Yeah, let's do it! And uh, let's see here. Uh, they got... Now, this is so like yeah, you, 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 all right, you, yo, Jake, yeah. you, you can't, the, the you fact can't, that you're kind of reading on no, the spur no, no, of the no, moment. No. But I say this, brother. He has 16 eyes. Yeah. The old, like, the like, source yeah. has like all this imagery of like Shiva itself, not the character, but you, you're putting in like uh, almost psychedelic imagery of the uh, the different uh, codings, the frequencies of the reality blending together, just like like 
Whoa, so unnerving. I had to put that stuff down now. Brother, brother, you know what? When you go home and embrace it and check it out, um, I do want to make it an audio effort, like like panels go up. <laughs> yeah. If you like to read it, bro, like, I love your voice on it. Oh, bro. right on. No, know, thank you. Thank yeah, you. I've done a lot of practice. I speak two and a half hours straight every Thursday for uh, the Stranger News and a half hour after the Major News. You do a great job. That, about that Stranger News is so sci-fi. <laughs> the whole point is when you're on board the Mothership Connection after the Stranger News is because you're ready to be on board that frequency. That frequency being... You're wrapped up in an altered time and space. You are here now, but man, you are you're in superhero world. And in real life, uh, there and are gee, mutants. There are mutants. Remember the last time I was here? I was here with Tierra, and I would replay the Suns mm -hmm, Project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, it's really cool that, like, to grow doing art, like, and keep having a platform to come over here and express art and whatnot. So yeah. Let's do that half hour break. Yo, we were gonna do the last call earlier because you had um, you had uh, you had some uh, words to say about Ariel Marin. That last call is a great track. I was just gonna get you in the door, dope. like she's yeah, dope. yeah, she's yeah. Dope. But uh, we're gonna see what can happen because uh, we got we got this uh, thing going on here. Oh, hold on a minute. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh. Hold on, man. Let me just do this real quick. Yeah, bro, do your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, just Scott, yo, this is Oscar Radio. I want to say a big shout-out to 707 Vallejo, Bay Area, the whole shebang. Love you guys, man. All right. There we go. We'll do a couple of tracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, of course I'm glancing through it, but there it is. Um, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. It's shocking to see another man's dick 12 times. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, cause, uh, that, that shows um, you are filling this in with this. That's some detail. How long did it take you to do that? Okay, so my guy, he drew the physical flesh people at the ink and all the background and all the detail and the bricks and so on. Yeah? We did like that uh, to combine that. Fuck beer. yeah. yeah all that, all that. Look at you, man. You're getting away with it. I mean, uh, pig violence is, is not is something that's You have no idea. No, you have no idea, bro. This is like, wait, this is warm, warm, warming you up. <laughs> this is warming you up. <laughs> but it's an easy book, too. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about book, too, but we're going to get this. Yeah, yeah. But please enjoy it, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got the other ones. It's, it's on my table. I was just reviewing them before you came in today. Oh, you got the two or three, the other one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you got the original. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, that's cool. That's so. That's so, all. is this a different continuum? No, it's the same one. It's just printed by the bigger publisher now. And, uh, but I do, like I said, um, um, it's the same. It's a publisher that printed it for me on a bigger scale. Um, and if everything goes right, they will be helping me put it into a series. Did Mike Hampton do another comic a long time back? Yeah, you worked with him with Bam? Yes, that's what I Like I said, uh, connection to people. Yeah. We're actually talking about that on air, bro. Like, but, um, okay, yeah, because I was going to mention Captain A Hole. Yeah, yeah, we have to. That's what it is. And then, and, then, and then if I can talk about like how I deal with my like, issues with art. Yeah, let's do it. The George Floyd protests uh, ripped off, like they just blew the sky high around the world. They had, uh, they had a uh, bunch of scapegoats to uh, work it out with, and one of those scapegoats uh, was uh, Zimbabwe. Now, in the analysis of it all, we I can't forget that the United States is still at war with uh, Zimbabwe. Why didn't they get rid of Mugabe? Wasn't that the reason that? We were at war with them. Uh, well, they got rid of Mugabe, right? They didn't have a civil war, so what's going on? Uh, so they try to blame uh, all this on Zimbabwe, of all things. So you know what that means, right? They're going to bomb the shit out of there or use that excuse. But they don't talk about it in the mainstream media. 
They didn't even talk about it in the Black Oriented media. You only found this in African media from Zimbabwe. They're the only ones keeping track of this stuff. Why would they keep track of this stuff? And, uh, that's a shame because it means that bl uh, Black Pan African theorists now are not connecting with all Africa in a comprehensive way for this to go under the radar. We should be seeing solidarity campaigns with Zimbabwe right now. We should be seeing this stuff with with uh, Algeria even with their but is that kind of road to go on when you when you think about things yourself? Well when you say things like, like the connection the, well, well I mean yeah. actually what you're saying, I mean the connection of media is not reflective to the people at all. Like like that's just a given. And yeah, it's, that's a given. That's just a given, you know? Are those slots open? Are those the slots? Those are the late night. I'm just looking. Everything's so full. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we only pay attention to what the mainstream media well, offers us. us. Yeah. And Google only shows us what, what they want us to see. So if you go to Mexico, they'll show you different things for Mexicans. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Check this out. I want to show you. Um, so look. Go to YouTube, Gregor and Squeeze. My phone may like reduce. Uh huh. Just uh, it's on your YouTube page. You is that his out. family? No, that's somebody you just tip for. Oh, that's a trip. Oh, is uh, Squeeze I'm really happy to do this? Yeah, he's cool. He's very. Uh, You've been talking about that, though. Yeah, uh, Squeeze. I remember him when he worked yeah. at Mid Thoughts. Yeah, yeah. So. I'll call him that shot. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. He, we got this whole cooking show. Oh, that's awesome. We need to talk about what you're doing duck soup because uh, we're doing cross media. Right yeah, now. yeah, it's over. Yeah. And yeah, okay. we'll do one more track after and this. Then, I, yeah. and then I want to just talk about like how doing the doing the art, like trying to help the people, like you know, I went through a nasty breakup, things were ugly, and even with my father passing, I just want people to know that you should lean on art with things are. Welcome back. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Um, you can go in if you want to that. Because you can always be quiet yeah, about your approach, but well, yeah. that leads to heartbreak. Oh, we got one more track to go, yo. One, two, three, four. I want to do this one. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? Okay, so. We got enough time. Because after this, we'll just talk for like 10, 20 minutes. Okay, so good. So, um. I remember you, 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 when I played one of my songs a while back, you were like, you appreciated the fact that I was just rapping about, like, taking a walk. Yeah. And, um, I, I, I feel like I'm not trying to be a rapper, but when I do try to rap, it's like, the realer I am will expose myself, the better I am as an artist, like, People make these, okay, I'm like a super gangster, or I'm a super, super this, I'm just like the super regular person. I want to rap about heartbreak, I want to rap about walking, I want to walk, rap about inspirational shit, whereas a lot of other people may not do it, I do, and I got like hell of tracks. I got some of like some, some weird positive songs, a lot of weird positive songs. That when you like, if you strip the weirdness from it. We talked about this on the air. You bring it, you bring it up, because um, we only got till the end of the hour. And I should play this track right here. I will play this track. Maybe not. Maybe. We'll see. We can play real people before I leave. I mean, I don't see. No, no, this one by Burnt. Yeah. It's a brand new one called Struggle. How long? So that'd be a good message to send it off on. We'll see. Uh, again, it's only going to uh, get the rest of the hour. Uh, mostly rock and roll. That's the already hardware. God, it's cold. I mean, I'm just like, because I know I got a pile of shit in there. I want my pile of music in there. <laughs> you probably do. Uh, no, it probably no. is. I don't know. Do, uh, do you know? Uh, it got brainwiped recently. 
I thought there was so much music in that thing. There was. Yeah. It's gone. That's teacher stuff. Yeah. And it shows like a, a death squad police uh, with their rifle aimed at you and someone putting a flower in it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you know, cause, uh, they, they're going to go after Zimbabwe and, you know, China too and Cuba. Because, uh, uh, they, they're going to do it because uh, back in the 60s and 70s, those countries, not Zimbabwe, but China and Cuba, they're the ones that made the Black Panthers so powerful. What was lost to our modern history is that Black Panther only got world, world worldwide because they had state backing. But no one wants to say they work with uh, China. No one wants to say that. But that's just some lost history, you know. What I'm saying is that Libya was doing this back in 2010, and suddenly in 2011 they got their asses bombed into living hell as they were building up the Black Liberation paradigm. So this talk about Zimbabwe earlier is here. On reading about it on the air, I started crying a little bit because what happened with Libya should never happen again. If it can happen to Zimbabwe, I was actually literally crying on the air. Man, I tell you. This fucked up. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's all good. Those two tracks are from the cause. We had a uh, one track called One Two Three Floor last week. Meant to play that one. It's okay. Back to you, followed by Nick Sick from The Cause on mothershipradio.blogspot.com. We may have enough time later, who knows, because we're going to spend most of our time on the journey of getting to know Mr. H. Scott. Mr. Senor. Hey, what's up? What's up? Yo, what it is it? Um, what's up, everyone? H. Scott, back at Oscat Radio 89.5. FM, I've been here a bunch of times and love you guys so much. What's up? What we know is you are a comic book artist and you are. Okay, okay. A... Real, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've come here with comic books. I've came here with videos. I've came here with music. I've came here teaching classes. I want people to know, man. I'm, 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 I'm. I don't. I mean, I don't get offended, but I'm not a, a comic book artist. I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. Like, I'm. I'm really. When I get in a creative space, I, I do. I've been editing videos. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we just shot a video, a new tel, a, a video series called Grubbing with Squeeze, where my boy Squeeze is cooking, and. Wow, Squeeze, I remember him. Yeah. Yeah, he's from around town. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. he, he's a, has he's a, a good guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, no kidding. He's a, he's an absolute master of knowledge. He loves reading books. And uh, for him to go on and get creative with a cooking show with you, that's an amazing connection there. Well, you know what? First and foremost, like I said, Squeeze is such a nice dude and loved in his Vallejo streets. Like, so, um, I'm going to tell you the secret because I love you, G. What's up? The secret of being dope as an artist, it's not about if I can make myself dope. Like I could, I could spend a lot of energy in me all day and put out art and music and stuff. And that looks cool. That sounds cool. But the really epitome of really creative dopeness is if you can make somebody else dope and work with them. So um, squeeze. Is such a good dude. I'm like, I'm literally his camera guy and his like hype guy. And you know, you have to watch it. It's really cool. Um, it just came out last night. We already got a hundred views. What's that? Duck soup. Duck soup. A duck soup. It's off of Duck Soup the podcast. Once again, Duck Soup the crew. Um, that's our podcast, D U K K S O P, where we are a bunch of artists. We unite. We play our music or videos. Um, here's a kicker though. On some videos. I shot Arya oh yeah, the vocalist um, video and and then put a um, dollar in a dream video. Is that what's up uh, there in front of, in that sleeve right there in front of you? That's that's the oh, that's this my is your other, other project. With that's the, my other project. Yeah, yeah, Age in Paradise with I want uh, a woman scorned. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great, but let, great wait, video, great great YouTube video by the way. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. But listen yeah. to it. How you read it? What did you call it? It's woman scorned. Age and Paradise. Ding. Oh, yeah. Once again, but what, what, like. I'm like really, I want people to know, man, I really put my ego to the side. I check my ego. I really do. Oh, that's a, those are two top billings, not age with special guest. 
No, that's the top billing for yeah. both artists. Yeah. yeah. On your on yeah. your project. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But, but but like I'm constantly yeah. trying to work with other people mm -hmm. to extend my dopeness. Nice. And uh, that was a uh, seriously one of her very first projects like this. Yeah. And, she, and she's a good actress. Yeah, thank you. In that video, it shows that wow, she is uh she probably had to play that part before. Yes. And, <laughs> and you know what? Uh, all right, so um, my discography has music, books, videos, video, all type of stuff to it. And I'm going to keep building with God's blessing. I'm going to keep building. My plan is to be, I want to be known as one of the most creative. It's not just a, as a rapper or like, but anyway, so that's, but my vessel of creativity, I want people to know that I'm dealing with depression. Depression is real to me. And listen up, y'all. He's speaking for, yeah. for, for, for about this for a reason to remind all of you. And yeah. the more you speak about it, the more healing happens. Yeah, like I'm, I'm very open about my because we have these platforms and all of us as artists. And what are you doing with it? What are you really saying? And I want to like really affect somebody with my art. So when I get on these platforms, I'm really open mm -hmm. and I, I do art right, to 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 heal myself from depression. And my it stems really my parents passed away. Mm -hmm. um, and then, once again, I keep it 100. Whenever I come to Vallejo, this is where one of my biggest heartbreaks was. Like, the last real, and I say it on air, every time I come here, because I met Michi here. Mm -hmm. I met Michi mm -hmm. G, and hopefully mm -hmm. she's hearing this. And she's on my Facebook page. I mean, she's still one of. I'm not. It's not in an evil space because I I speak on her in my songs. I say, I but I never am disrespectful to her. I never say like, meet you, you blankety blank blank. Like I'm always really tasteful on how she broke my heart, and I speak on it. And I'm really like, and all my friends, some of my friends are like, why do you do that? Like, are you obsessed? But no, as an artistic focal point of pain every blues artist that that one exactly. woman was a real woman exactly mm -hmm. exactly you get it but and, and then uh you have to under, you have to know you have to wonder what where the artist gets their that, inspiration that inspiration yeah. that pain mm -hmm. so once again um michi broke my heart but i moved on and i used that focus to get creative and i write and i draw and and Whatever moves me, like, and if I got creative friends, oh, hold up, um, I did a song with my man on Facebook, on YouTube, I made a beat for my boy, Senor Gigio, Gigio, he's a dope, you, I don't know if you know him, Senor, okay, great rapper, um, like I said, I recorded a full project with MC Wicks from Stockton, I made Aria's video, a dollar in a dream. Shout out to Oya. Today's her birthday. I shot. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday I shot Daylight's re uh, video. The rapper, female rapper Daylight. I shot her video out here. I'm just. I'm not trying to toast like boast and brag, but like, no, that's you're, what you're, 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 you're well known guy. But you, you're also speaking about some. Of, some of your work reflects yeah. another kind of pain, uh, a spiritual pain. Because uh, remarking about the reality shown in what we are primarily speaking on, the Uncle Dad comics release, issue number one, uh, second series, of Superhood. Yes. And uh, Superhood uh, being a uh, prime comic uh, that is it's really, it's, it's, uh, really original. It's, uh, it's, it has uh, some great characterization through dialogue, uh, really spectacular uh, uh, art. Uh, with straight-up street battles, uh, really realistic and science fiction, psychedelic themes. Um, but in it, I see a pain you feel, perhaps, for your own nation. I want to say black power, but uh, I want to be careful yeah, yeah, yeah. how I say it. No, brother, you, you know what? First and foremost, when I talk to you, Jay, you're my brother, so it's good. Like, please take your gloves off when you do your media I'm thing. Black power! Black you ain't got to say that, yeah, yeah. because we can say... Okay, okay, we okay. Can say this. okay. Black so, power, man. Okay. Because you're speaking to... To someone who's always known to always say it. Well, okay, so Black Power comic books. So, yeah. there was a time when um, Black Panther came out, the movie Black Panther, and everything was black, black, blackly black. And it's all good. I mean, I love being black. 
but in media and comic books, it was just super dope. It was a like you had to be black or like dark or like and so after Watchmen and Dark Knight from those two books, Alan Moore being shot. I love Alan Moore because what Alan Moore does, he like opens the door for me to do it worse. <laughs> like every everything I'm doing, Superhead, yeah. you've seen in Watchmen already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just up but to he, Annie. He was also speaking of a pain yeah. in his soul of what was going on in the war, in the war, in, yeah. the, in the Cold War that are about to wreak ruin on the world. We, you, you have seen the, your nation live among the ruins all your generation, and we don't know this pain that some artists want to reveal Yo, through their work. Check this out. You think book, like, mind you, this is just book one to warm you up to the series. Mm -hmm. We already got three books done. Mm -hmm. Book two is going to just blow your socks off. And, I yeah. mean, you already you already read the series, you you so you know, I would just say reread it or check it out, and we can talk about that on the air too, but mm -hmm. like, yeah, um, Uncle Dad Comics, UncleDadComics.com. I want to say a big shout to Is Israel for, like, putting me on. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, the idea, the idea of, of Black Power, though, on this, on everything we do, um, is based primarily in reconstructing the culture, primarily in the interest of the people. As an artist, you are reconstructing the culture, and empowering the consciousness of those minds that are waiting to be open or already are opened, but there is not enough sunlight in the darkness. You're just yo yeah. working together. I mean, mm -hmm. dude, like. It's not hard. It's not a new thing. But see, if we work together, like I have the cameras, and I have the cameras, but I have all these talented friends around me. I got the studio, and I so this work, this this really put an ego to the side and get things done. And when you do that, you get empowered, and you just work like Duck Soup has been doing on podcasts. Matter of fact, we got an episode in two hours. D u k k s o o p on YouTube. Please tune in tonight. Big and Dr. G, you gotta come through and like kick it one time. Love to. You think I can't go too far? I'll go far enough. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, reconstructing the okay the about, minds, about yeah. the reconstructing. Yeah, we want um, the reconstruction. Now. Yeah. Um, hip hop is never gonna go anywhere. No. Hip hop's not going anywhere. Speak as an artist, sir. Yes, sir. I sure will. So, and mind you, <clears throat> this is me coming dropping off my books, but I got music in the chamber ready to go. I'm gonna go and I polish up. Release a new project really soon. But, like, in my music, um, one of my biggest songs was, like, Real People, um, genuinely talking about everyone being cool, all races. Um, my other song on, I made a video for was Let Me Walk, a song where I'm taking a walk with somebody, holding hands, getting on the bus. Like, and then um, I make a lot of positive, weird songs. Like, I sample weird stuff. But then it comes, and then we talk about, it, it, I'm always trying to be uh, a little more open and real. Like how people say, keep it real. Well, <clears throat> I'm not going to put a facade like, I'm a, like I've killed anybody or I'm like super oh, hard. the typical black. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. be a savage like how savage Hollywood though. wants uh -huh. y'all to be. And, yeah, and I think I get cooler points by rapping about. I'm a black man dealing with depression, and I'm open about it, and I'm proud of it. I, I could claim it. I could talk about it. I'm not as scared to talk. But then also from doing the podcast and then talking to people, I really learned. I'm just, like you, G, you got that knack for talking, and you learn what to say and what not to say. I'll so, say it again. <laughs> yeah, so talking about depression is not oh, a big man. deal, bro. It's not. And I'll say it again. You talking about it openly. Easy. Is is uh, not only healing, but empowers others to heal themselves. Like, just it just uh, helps bubbles one's own insecurities out to the surface. I tell you this, bro. Like, if people want to put their egos to the side, sometimes you having a bad day. If you go off and just go do something nice to somebody else, talk to them, open the door, a small gesture will make you feel better about yourself. Absolutely. Uh, I got one last question for all, right, for all of you. Okay, so they do a news program every Thursday talking about the bad news. Talking about maybe FBI going after uh, rappers and stuff or talking about certain political subjects, right? Yeah. Is that disempowering? 
Um, okay, so... Is that contributing to the, uh, to the bad Okay, issue? okay, 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 so... Our podcast, Duck Soup the Show, even though we try to talk about a lot of things, we don't really dwell into the politics too much because, A, like a lot of people do do that, and it's more about coming through and having a laugh and two and like, leaving with, like, feeling a little lighter. Because politics can be so hard and heavy that you go in and come out feeling heavier. And I'm going to tell you like this. Since 45 is lost, I've only mentioned his name five times. Who the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. I don't even talk about him. He's not even... He's And like people want to... Oh, well, these things may happen and these stories and... What if it, I'm like, bro, I'm not feeling in, I'm not feeling into the propaganda. He's gone. I'm looking forward to the next president. And I'm looking forward to Kanye West president twenty twenty eight. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the White House. Cool. I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna work. Mm. Okay, so um Biden uh, I wish him the best of luck. Biden um, um Pamela, wish him the best of luck. Two terms, eight years. Kanye's still young. Yeah. Kanye's still young. Yeah. He matures eight uh-huh. years later. Uh-huh. Calms down a little more. Le- matures and learns. Because look, what he learned from the politics this time, he wasn't supposed to win. He was supposed oh, to yeah. put... No, he was a, He just put his toes in the water and seen how the current flows. And that's, what that, that's what the Donald... The, the yeah, bro, he just put his toes in the... Yo, yo, mind you, Kanye went in and came out with the same Kanye. He remained Kanye. Yo, Kanye, I'm telling you. Kanye's Yo, so Kanye West 2028, um, and Biden and Harris, you know, I mean, uh, um, I'm, first black woman in the yeah. White House. Oakland, stand Obama, up. Which, Oakland, which, which, stand up. Yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah. and you know, here's a funny, because everyone says that this new um, political group is nothing but Obama 2.0. Because I mean, okay, let me stop for a Anyway, count the new album. <laughs> count my new you're, album. You're, you're, you're right about politics. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it's not so much disempowering as it is if you remain even-handed in your approach, filling in the news gap to interested people is empowering. Yeah, yeah. you want to empower people. But then you want to be the doctor, G. Like, you yeah, want to, like, yeah. soothe. Like, I don't know. Like, Ooh. we're in a, we're in a spot where we're so powerful with these mics and all. We can either make somebody's day or ruin it. Mm. I see that. Like, that's why I duck you to show. Please tune in tonight. And on another note, I want to give a big shout out to Borat in his new movie. I don't know if you saw it. But the new Borat movie is really politically funny. Um, it's funny. From doing the podcast and work with my brethren and my sisters, I'm trying real media people. Before it's over, I don't know, bro. I can see us making thriller. <laughs> yeah, we got all the Hollywood embellishments from an old school graveyard to off the road. Uh, the Zodiac shack is still around. You know what? But it's funny because just. Off of you reading the comic book, I'm like, bro, you're the perfect voice for reading it. Yo, will you please, right will, will you please read the audio book of it? No, but no, brother, there, no, but, 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 brother, check this out. You read it. I'm like, oh, bro, you should do the media. You should me- do the media voice. You say, sure, I do it. I say, sure, let's do it. You record it. That's like a nod for both of us because we work together. I'm about to hurl. No, wait, this is the young kid. I'm about to hurl. Beef, do you see this? Ch- I can't take this ch- no more. I miss my mom. I told him to leave me alone. Look, zombie, this is some bullshit. Not bathing, not eating, the drugs. Story is, f- kid, you say you can't feel anything physically or emotionally, so why are you shooting up heroin? I don't shoot up heroin. That was last week's drug. I now shoot up unleaded and. When it comes to my bathing, F you. You ain't my boss. I love you, G! I love you! That's, that was dope. That was dope. Yeah. That was dope. I love you, bro. Yo. Yo, last words. Duck Soup and all that. Tell us. Tell all right, so um, Duck Soup the show. Duck Soup on YouTube. D-U-K-K-S-O-O-P. We just debuted um, a big squeeze in his cooking show. It's called Grubbing with Squeeze. G R U B N with W I T squeeze. Um, please check out Superhood. Um, 
Please check out all the music we offer. Big shout out to the Duck Soup crew. Um, I'm going to release a new album soon. And please go to UncleDadComics.com and pick up Superhood. UncleDadComics.com. Big shout out to Mike Hampton and Brandon Brock of Monster. And happy Thanksgiving. And um, shout out to my nieces and nephew. Love them all. That's right on. And we're going to go ahead and let Jeremy know. He's all over the road. He's somewhere out there. Dust clouds are on the horizon. He is he is ready. And he is free to go whenever he can. He's probably up somewhere now. Right now, getting ready to gear up. Just drive that car all over the place. So we better get out of the way. You know, Jeremy, who's all over the road, is coming on. So stay tuned to OzCat Radio 89.5 FM KZCT out of Vallejo. This has been a North Bay Uprising Media Collective production, The Mothership Connection, online at mothershipradio.blogspot.com. Expressing that idea of black power so forcefully because I recently uh, lost it uh, way before like, when Rihanna Taylor got shot up. I was like, oh, it all hit me again. But but I, but I put it down deep in my soul because in 2014, 2015, um, on the news, I kept reporting about how about how uh, the FBI was going after hip hop artists, and I was playing some of these artists, and so the fear, the fear. Uh, so, to say it for the first time in a long time, act, even if it was just almost in jest, it just suddenly the power came out. Yeah, yeah it's like, dang, you know, it's like you can't, 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 sh- you can't talk to someone from Vallejo of the Seas. No, uh, but you want to yeah, know something? Yeah, With no, all no. those rallies and everything mm-hmm. start going on, that's when my artistic things start peaking, because that was the only time I had, only way I could get it off my chest. And like, honestly, like, bro, brother, would you, do you want to record an album? Maybe I could do some. No, brother. Yeah. Brother. Yeah. Brother. Do you want to record an album? Yeah. Think about yeah, it. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. no, brother. Yeah. Time is of essence. Yeah. I love you. We got things going. Yeah. So let me know. All right. Let me record. I'm gonna cut. Yeah. Hold me. Let's do a shot. Let's do a shot right here.